Hey everybody, how's it going? This is Darren Gidman from GuitarControl.com bringing you this video lesson. Uh, today I want to show you how to play the acoustic version of 45 by Shinedown. Uh, so uh, be sure to click on the link in the description for the tabs and let's get close up and take a look at this. Alright, so the song starts out, it's got this little intro and um, then it goes straight into the verse and it's uh, just a similar uh, riff as the the intro is so it starts off <clears throat> with um these um arpeggiated uh chords and stuff they're all i'm not going to go through a name like what all these chords are right here because they're all you know they're all going to have really you know strange names and stuff so if you just follow along with the tabs it's 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 pretty simple so we're going to start off we're going to put our first finger on the second fret of the uh fourth string and we're going to play strings uh, 6, 4, and 3. Then we're going to move our first finger up to the second fret of the sixth string and put our second finger on the second fret of the third string and pick strings 6, 4, and 3. Then move our second finger to the third fret of the sixth string and uh, st strum strings six, four, and three. So that whole first riff. And then from there, we move our second finger from the sixth string to the fifth string, still on the third fret. And we're going to pick strings six, five, or excuse me, five, four, and three. Uh, twice. So five, four, three, five, four, three. And then you're going to take your third finger and put it on the fourth fret of the fourth string and go uh, five, four, three, five, four, three again. So that section. And then it basically just starts over um, with some slight variations. So uh, starting on the fourth measure, uh, first string, or excuse me, first finger on the uh, second fret of the fourth string again. Then to the sixth string, second fret, second finger, second fret of the third string. Second finger to the third fret of the sixth string. And now we're going to hit the third string open and do a hammer on and pull off to the second fret back to the open. And then the fourth fret of the fourth string pick open. So, so that whole part. And then to the third fret of the fifth string with your second finger. Five, four, three, five, four, three, and then put your third finger down on the fourth fret of the fourth string like we did before, but this time you're also going to put your first finger down on the third fret of the second string. And then basically the riff just starts over. So there, we've got that same uh, hammer on we did before with the third string open, hammer to two, pull to open. And then we go to the fourth fret of the fourth string, follow that with the third string open. So, and then back to the third fret of the fifth string with your second finger. And then your third finger down onto the fourth fret of the fourth string and your first finger to the third fret of the second string. Okay, and then from there, it moves on to a bridge um, where we're going to start strumming. So uh, here we've got, if you look on the, uh, on your, on the tabs, it just has the names of the chords, A minor, A minor 6, and E minor. And then uh, it just has, in the tab it has for the, for the counting for it. So this is, uh, this actually starts on the fourth beat of the, uh, uh, looks like the 12th measure. 
It's uh, so we start with A minor, and so we've got a quarter note, and then two eighth notes, and then new, and then two quarter notes. So it's like four, one, and two, three, and and then on the fourth beat we switch to A minor six. So all you do is simply you're doing this regular A minor chord, uh, open. 5th string, 2nd fret of the 4th string, 2nd fret, 3rd string, 1st fret, 2nd string, and 1st string open. And then to make it A minor 6, we're just going to use our 4th finger to pick up the 2nd fret of the 1st uh, um, string. So when we switch to the A minor 6, again, it's on the... Uh, the fourth beat of the 13th measure, but it's the same strum. So we have four, one, and two, three, and, and then it's gonna to switch to E minor. So on E minor, it also starts on the fourth beat. So we have uh, four, one, and two, three, and four, one, and two, three, and, and then back to A minor. Four, one, and two, three, and to A minor six. Four, one, and two, three, and then to G. Four, one, and two, three, and and then we have a D suspended four over F sharp. So there's a couple of ways that you can play this. You could do your regular D suspended four and then pick up the F sharp with your thumb, but. Um, what I like to do is go, since I'm transitioning from this G, is I just move my first finger from the second fret of the fifth string to the second fret of the sixth string, and then pick up the second fret of the third string with my middle finger. And that starts on beat four. So we have one, or excuse me, four, one, two, and then from there is where it picks up and goes onto the chorus. So that whole section is gonna sound like this. And then from there, it goes into the chorus. So when it moves into the chorus, um, we have these two uh, pickup notes, uh, third fret of the sixth string, and I'm gonna use my second finger to the second fret of the sixth string with my first finger, and then to an A minor. So coming off from that, uh, that bridge, we have on the D suspended four over F sharp, we have one, two, three, and, and then four on the downbeat of E minor. So when it goes to the, you, you do the, the, the two pickup notes to E minor, it was just on the downbeat of four. Four, one, and two, three, and, and then it switches to a D. Uh, four, one, and two, three, and, and then to a C, four, one, and two, three, and, and then back to an A minor, four, one, and, to a D, three, four, and, or excuse me, two, three, and, and then uh, the two pickup notes again. So actually that isn't the chorus. That's actually, that's my bad. That's actually still part of the bridge because when it go, now we're going into the chorus, which is actually extremely similar to that part. Okay. So coming, um, where the strum, uh, that, uh, part we just went over, like I said, it isn't the chorus. It's actually part of the bridge. We come, we're starting with the D suspended over F sharp, the two pickup notes to E minor, And then the two pickup notes again going into the chorus. So uh, going into the chorus, the two pickup notes to E minor, D, C, A minor. And that A minor 
uh, we, you know, it starts on the downbeat of one. So we got one, two, and, and then it's a half note, three, four, and that is a repeat. So that repeat brings us all the way back to the very beginning of the song, the little, uh, you know, pre-verse intro part, the verse, the bridge, and uh, the chorus again. So basically everything that we just went over, you play again. Okay, and then from there, we move into a breakdown that starts uh, with a C, and it's two eighth notes and then a quarter note, and then we have a rest. So the, the, so the timing on this part is a little weird. We have one and two, and then we rest, and then on the and of four, we hit the open uh, fifth string and switch to a B. So, and then on the B, it's on, it's one, two, and three, four, and, and that's the whole section. So the, the, the breakdown is two verses, but um, it's repeated three times. So it's going to sound like this. And then uh, from there, moving on with it, we're at E minor, and we have four eighth notes, so one and two end, and then we rest on three, and then we're going to uh, switch to a different chord there. So we have on E minor, one and two end, and then we go, we, have, we rest for one beat, and we go to D5 over F sharp, which is, um, one of them chords from the beginning. So transitioning from E minor to this is simple. So you're just going to move your second finger from the fifth string to the sixth string, and then your third finger from the fourth string to the third string. And this is uh, beats, this, this starts on beat four. So it's four and, and then one end of the next measure. So four and, four and, one and, and then we rest and we switch to a G, and that's on uh, beat three, and then four and. And then uh, beat one of the next measure, so it's like three, four, and one, two, and. And then, um, or, or, or excuse me, it starts, It's the, so on G it starts on the, the the third beat of the 32nd measure. So we've got one, two, and, or, oh my gosh, we have three, four, and, learn how to count, three, four, and one, two, and three, and four, and on E minor. So it's kind of, it's kind of strange where it switches there because it's on the and of three where it switches to E minor. And then we, um, there's four strums on the E minor, so it's, and four and one, and then we rest. Then we're back to uh, the D, um, D5 over F sharp. So again, going from E minor, we just move our second finger to the sixth string and our third finger to the third string. Uh, and that starts on the and of two. So it's and three and four, and then the and of four we switch to a C and one uh, on this measure we're, we're strumming on one and then the and of one and ling letting it ring over two so one and two and then we rest uh, until the fourth beat and then uh, those two pickup notes again because it goes from there into the last chorus, which is just the same thing. It's just extended out longer. Uh, so I'm going to play that in, that entire breakdown uh, part with uh, starting on measure 29.
and goes in from there into that uh, last chorus. So just um, on that we have on E minor, one, two, and three, four, and D, two, and three, four, and C, two, and three, four, and... And then on that fourth measure, it's a, we rest for uh, four beats. And after we rest for four beats, we go in back to E minor, one, two, and three, four, and D, two, and three, four, and C, two, and three, minor, two, and three, and then on the four and the and, the two pickup notes again. Whoops. Uh, back to E minor, one, two, and three, uh, to that D5 over F sharp, four, whoops, four, one, and two, to G, three, four, and one, two, three, and four, to C, one, two, and three, four, one and two, three, four and one, two, three and four. Then the two pickup notes, and then that repeats. You can see on your on your tabs that it goes from there back to uh, measure forty four on E minor and repeats that section three times. Okay, and then from there we've got the the final stretch of the song, uh, E minor one, two and three to the D five over F sharp. 4, 1, and 2 to G, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, and 4 to C, 1, 2, and 3, 4, 1, and 2, 3, 4, and to C, 1, or excuse me, stay on C, 1, 2, 3, and 4, and then to A, A minor, whole note just tied out for three measures, and that's the, that's the ending of the song. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed that and you got something out of it. Um, this is uh, a pretty cool song. It's a, it's a great one um, if you're kind of a beginner, you know, just to kind of do something that's a little out of just the ordinary, you know, just always, you know, just, you know, strumming chords. It's, you know, it's got the strumming part. It's got the arpeggiated part. So it's got, you know, a little bit of variety in there. So uh, if you uh, like the video, leave me a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment down below if there's anything you'd like to see me or any of the other instructors cover uh, um, at Guitar Control. And uh, be sure to subscribe to the channel. And until next time.